Hey, hello everybody, it's Dr. Steve back with another episode of Core Wellness TV and today we're going to talk about the ultimate back brace or the ultimate posture brace, however you want to look at it. Any way you look at it, it is the ultimate brace. And it's not going to be a piece of material I pull out that's got Velcro on it that we strap on or pull down around our corset. It is in your mind, under your mind control. It is muscular coordination and control of how to turn on your intra-abdominal pressure. And I'm going to show you a couple of exercises of how to make sure that you're using that correctly. But first, let me tell you that the Core Wellness TV is always brought to you by the Core Wellness Institute training course and coaching program, which is specifically designed to help you break free of the stress-induced muscle imbalance pattern of unhealthy aging crossed posture syndrome. It is the only course of its kind specifically designed to reverse the crossed posture syndrome that puts, your, that puts your joints out of balance and causes trigger points and causes pain and causes poor breathing and causes energy deficits and everything else, okay? We talk about the thoughts, we talk about the movement, and we talk about the nutrition. We address these therapeutic lifestyle strategies to help reduce the stress so you can live a stronger, healthier, more confident, and more meaningful life, okay? That is at, I recorded a a, a tour, and, and a virtual tour, and I put that up at corewellnessinstitute.com forward slash tour. So you can check that out if you want to dive deeper and really take this to the next level, okay? Now, let's go to back to the, the posture brace or the back pain brace, whatever you want to call it. Let me define it for you, okay? I define it as the ability to create and maintain intra-abdominal pressure while uprighting and having maximum length through the spine. That is what I consider the ultimate brace, the ultimate core. And this is how it, this is how it works, okay? This is how you switch it on, right? Basically, your your diaphragm from above forms the top. Your pelvic floor from the bottom, like your Kegel muscles and all those guys, forms the bottom of the of the container, right? We're going to imagine we have got a container here. And we've got the top is the diaphragm, the bottom is the pelvic floor, and the side is your abdominal wall, okay? Now, while when you were a baby, right, all you did was the first thing you ever did when you were a baby is you got on the floor and you created pressure before you started to move because if you don't have that pressure, if you don't have that fixed point, a pressurized anchor, there's no way you can do any other kind of movements with, you know, for instance, someone who, a baby with like cerebral palsy looks more like this and the, the arch, there's no core stability, therefore all of the movements are done without good efficiency and they're damaging movements, okay? As opposed to, boom, the ability to connect and create that pressurized system in the center. Now I've got a, a pressurized system right here. If you came and punched me, I would be pressurized, right? That is the core. Pressure, the ability to, to maintain pressure. Now, here's the deal. We, get, we lose the ability to create that pressure as crossed posture comes into our life and we get deep core amnesia. Let me explain. When you get crossed posture, for instance, if your pelvis dumps forward, okay, pelvis dumps forward and your ribs fly open in the front, that pressurized container is going to have a leak, right? And all of the pressure is going to leak out the front and you're going to overload your back. That's where a lot of back pain comes from. That's why we call this the ultimate posture and back pain brace, okay? So the first thing we have to do is make sure that we're keeping the front of the container closed, right? So. How do we do that? Well, we make sure that our ribs are in their lowest possible position. I've talked about this before, making sure that the rib cage is in its lowest possible position. Now this is, gosh, if you could just learn this one thing and then we could turn the camera off and you could just, we could be done, right? <sighs> Finding that lowest possible position of the rib cage lowers your center of gravity and makes it easier for you to create that pressure at any point, at any time. And so let's think about how, how can we create that pressure. We can create that pressure through a brace. Boom! I can, I can just do a quick brace like I'm bearing down, like cough, sneeze, bowel movement. All of the, the, everything's on and boom! And I put on a brace. Now, 
It's not good, not a good core if when you brace, you do this. You see that, how my body's going forward, right? I've lost the rule of having pressurized system while being upright. Okay, and this is where the exercise is going to come in in a second. So, we've, we've created the lowest expiratory position, and our pelvis is underneath us slightly, right? Underneath us, like we're imagining that our pubic bone is connecting to a surface in front of us. Just like, oh, what do you know? We're going back to neurodevelopment here. Just like we are in baby belly, and we connect our pubic bone, right? That's how we develop these systems is through neural development. And so we can use these points, these reference points, these support points, as I call them, as cues to the central nervous system to reboot back into the automatic, perfect, organic posture. So make that connection, right? It's not a big squeeze from behind, just a gentle make the connection, right? Because standing posture is not a big butt squeeze. It is a gentle connection of a support point, right? And where else was I connected there? The front of my ribs, right? So I'm imagining I'm connected here and I'm connected here. That will bring me back to centration. That's how it's created organically and, and intentionally. Now that I've done that, I'm in this position. Now all I have to do is breathe. Look, my diaphragm, when I come down, is going to go downward and create what? Create more pressure. So your diaphragm is really your key core stability muscle. It is the trick for your intra-abdominal pressure. It is the trick for your ultimate posture and back pain brace. So breathing. Now, if you're breathing and your breath pattern is up here, are you gonna create pressure down here? No, you've lost everything if your breath pattern is up here. That's why it's so important to retrain the breath pattern. We spend so much time on that in the course, talking about breath retraining and the importance of being able to, in, to increase intra-abdominal pressure and the anti-gravity function of the diaphragm and all that kind of stuff. But here, we're going to create that pressure and we're going to make it come down. We're going to, we're going to have this nice system and we're going to be tall to boot. Right now, that's the trick. If we do this, the tendency is going to be for us to go forward like this. This is how we're going to train that. Why do we do? Why? Why do we have that tendency? Well, one is we don't have the motor control anymore. Our motor control is out the window. We've lost. You know, we've from zero to four years old. We created this perfect posture. You never. You don't walk. You don't see a four-year-old with uh, with. Poor posture. You don't see a four-year-old walking around like this. This comes on through life. We get sit put in desks and we get put in jobs and we have stress and we have family stress and financial stress and worries and stuff. And we put that all on ourselves and we draw forward through that process. Okay? So it can be just that we've lost that motor program. or We've not lost it. It's just been the weeds have grown up over the pathways in our brain. Right? So what we do is, first of all, we have to learn how to, to reprogram that. Now, the, the other issue is sometimes we've been like that for so long, drawn forward for so long, that we've created a tension and a tightness through our chest muscles, through our, our anterior ribs in the front, through our neck in the back, these suboccipital muscles. We've created tension and tightness and maybe even these trigger points that are causing us pain and headaches and shoulder pain and arm pain and whatever else, chest pain even. We've created that tightness. So we have to unwind that tightness, right? So that's why I love body work. By gosh, go to someone who knows good body work and knows how to open up a chest and get that done, okay? Get that done. And then what, what I'm showing you can be your homework, right? So uh, the, the most classic way I'm going to show you how to do this is, right, first of all, we had, we had ourselves in our baby back position, right? Where we're going to make that connection, right? And if it's just impossible for you to make that connection with your back into the floor, then put a little um, rolled towel or a small pillow underneath there just so you can make the connection, so your brain can feel the connection. And if you look like this, put a towel under your head as well. Because if you're out of function like this, your nervous system is getting a buzz and it's going to cause distress to your system. And th this is all about creating a peace system, a peace physiology system. So here we are. We are connected, 
Our neck is long. We are uprighted, right? We have our core on, and we are uprighted. We're going to take our arms over our head while maintaining this. Okay? You can take a small... uh, And you don't even have to use a, a ball at first. Just take your arms. Can you do it? So guess what? Shoulder mobility has a direct functional connection to your core. If you don't have good shoulder mobility, you cannot create. You cannot keep a good core through overhead movements. Every time you go over your head, you're going to lose your core. And you're going to overload your back. That's why a lot of people have back pain is because they do every time they reach over and above their head, they lose their core and they overload their back. So, that's one way to do it. The other way is I don't have my foam roll here right now, but Make the connection again, and you're going to make your snow angels, okay? Open up the chest in the front, right? Just by making your connection and opening up. So I'll knock my thing over here. Opening up overhead. You see, the chest and the shoulders are crucial in order to be able to maintain your perfect ultimate posture brace. So what I want you to do is try those two things. And if, if, if at first you, you can't make the connection, just keep working on it. And if you need some extra help, you can always you know, jump in there with the, the training course or coaching program and I can help you personally. And I want you to try that and I want you to let me know how that feels and where you feel it most. Where's the biggest hang up? Is it the ability to maintain the center, maintain the connection? Or is it because when you go so far, you can't go all the way over your head because you lose your connection because you run into shoulder problems or you run into chest tightness. Where do you feel it? Put it down below. And thank you for listening. And I hope this is helpful to you. And please, like I said, leave your comment down below. If you're watching this on YouTube, uh, please go to the blog at gettoyourcore.com. And it's in the description box down below, the exact place where this post is posted. And that's where all of the comments and interaction takes place. Thank you again so much. We will see you later. Bye-bye.